Hey friends. Well, um, not feeling the very most cheerful here. How about you? But I tell you what, if I waited till I was cheerful to record a video, I might have to wait a while. So I'm not going to do that. This is uh, a journal from 1125. And the Mayan day was to Lamont or star. I wanted to do it as a sun since I don't have a star in my little toy chest, but it flickered too much. So I'm trying this effect instead. Remembering brain or DNA changes, recovering from 11, 11, 11. Oh, and there's a number of links in this thing, so uh, you might enjoy going over to the transcript. I'm beginning to remember or put together things, little things, odd, loose strings in my life. It's both subtle and not coming through like intuitions. Heck, who knows? It may be messages from spirit. Actually, as I wrote that, it clicked that it does come that way as messages. Now, whether these messages are from source, my own higher self, spiritual guides or whatever, I don't yet know. Hey, just a moment ago I was calling it intuition, so this is an on-the-fly type of connecting the dots via heart, rather than any kind of mental work, just to be clear. The main reason I came to the journal is that these things, being rather etheric, feel a bit like the type of remembrance we bring back from a dream, <laughs> the kind that evaporates if we don't keep a, a dream journal or take notes or tell someone. So now let's see if I can pull back the two or three of these that have come in today. As a by the way, I don't think I've mentioned before, but I use the Bach flower remedies and have found them quite useful in moving stuck or aching energies into the flow and healing patterns. So uh, my last personal bottle ran out and I made up a new one today. The very first one where I only used one essence, the last bottle combined five or six, Anyway, the one flower essence I chose this time, just in case, was water violet, which helps in cases where people may be too independent, preferring their own company, even in times of difficulty and trial. I don't feel needy at all that way, but simple self-observation has shown me that it may be an issue. Anyway, all of that just is prologue to this. I have a habit that I tend to look down on, which is to keep the audio on the computer video player going all through the night. Though I'm careful to select beneficial, uplifting, healing recordings, no commercials of course, still I've noticed I'm not comfortable with silence to sleep. Now, as I said, I've considered this a shortcoming, though I've just been watching it, not trying to change it. Well, not much. Tonight, it came to me that this is actually evidence of a certain loneliness that I didn't even know I had. Seriously, I do feel so blessed and happy to live alone here in the country as I do. I give thanks for it practically daily. Never having looked at my lifestyle as lacking, this came as a surprise, but I knew by the feel of it right away it felt right. Now, I just started this flower remedy tonight. Thus, that's possibly an action in less than six hours. I'm impressed. Still, I don't want to bring all the kudos to the flower remedy. We aren't one-note symphonies. None of us. We're a gestalt or collage or fractal of every moving energy coalescing in new ways in each now. 
so I'm sure other factors are at work here, working together for my overall good and yours and yours and yours, etc. No persons, no separation is ultimately real. Okay, I'm hoping the other equally subtle things will come back to me. As you can see, watch and observe is a habit with me, but not a perfect one. <laughs> or I've had, I'd have jotted them down when they occurred. Today, the 25th of November, is the first day I've felt what I'd call normal since the 11-11 date. That was intense. It wasn't until just about three days ago that I began to feel the end of the adjustment to the new levels of energy was in sight. It's been rough, but today I feel fine. So what's happening with us? I'm more and more tempted to give a certain weight or credibility to Lauren Gorgo's Think With Your Heart blog, though I am skeptical still of most who do channeling, including her, it's a bit uncanny how often what she writes and predicts co coincides with my experiences. I still won't say she's got the reasons for it down pat, what the Pleiadians she works with tell her, but I must give her credit for her energy readings. I'll provide a link in the transcript for you to check out. Now, more and more, I'm beginning to see things, a flash of movement, a bit of light, or a shadow moving out of the corner of my eyes. I've even begun to address these things lately. They're getting so common. Today, I started to say hi to them. Boy, won't I be surprised when one of them answers me. Oh, well, I say. It's about time we got on with moving into those more rarefied energies and meeting the guys and gals and beings there. Wouldn't you say? Are you ready? I've got a bit of tinnitus going too. How many of you are having odd things with your hearing? Sometimes it sounds like there's a, a radio on in another room or in the background of the talking video I'm watching even though I know it isn't so. Sometimes it's almost like I hear electricity or something equally odd. I don't know. I just ignore it. Well, I also watch. I have found it doesn't pay to try to force the issue on these things. I just wind up getting out of balance with it, granting it more importance than it deserves in the overall scheme of things. Now, that's my take on it anyway. Thus, as you can guess, I just like to watch and observe. Actually, I'm just remembering now that right after I took the first dose of the flower remedy, I sat there listening to some video or another, feeling like I was getting high, a bit dizzy. Interesting. It was kind of fun, too. <laughs> the first dose of a new flower remedy, gentle and diluted though they are, can be pretty powerful, sometimes emotionally, sometimes even physically, like this, as you begin the blessing, the adjustment they bring. Darn, those other two things I wanted to record here haven't come yet. I thought they would. Well, maybe later. I'll put this journal aside and maybe sleep on it. Oh, and in the interests of full disclosure, I'll mention I did something else I don't typically do, which is listen to a couple of Binaural Beats videos. Jezebel Decibel on YouTube came out with a new one, and her stuff is pretty awesome. I've got links for you here, too. Why mention it? Well, it's brainwave meditation type stuff designed to take the brain into delta and theta states, in this case, the two videos I watched. They're really just audios with some trippy geometries to entertain the eyes while you listen through headphones. That can get pretty trippy itself, so do check it out. I do recommend being very cautious about such things in general, though. Why? 
simply because they can slip subliminals into them so easily you'd never hear them. But I've checked her out pretty well and feel really good about Jandy, as she calls herself. Now, as I say, check her out for yourself and the technology, too. One thing I like about her is that she combines the ancient solfeggio frequencies along with the binaural beats and the rest. And she puts in a good description in the field, too, not one of those no description available deals. For those who don't know what I mean by binaural beats, it's a, a pretty odd property of the brain accessed via audio. It requires headphones since what you do is to take two different tones and play them at the same time, one in each ear. So if one tone is 400 hertz and the other is 430, the brain won't register the two as separate tones. You won't hear either one. Instead, it splits the difference and what you hear is 415 hertz instead clearly a tone that is not being played. And that's not all though, not a bit. In addition to the completely new tone, the one that isn't played, the sound of it isn't steady. It pulses or sounds like it carries a beat. Thus, binaural beats. Bi for two, your ears, and oral for sound, A-U-R-A-L. Beats is obvious. Pretty darn strange. I almost went into psychology years ago just out of fascination with these and other strange feats and aspects of the brain and central nervous system. Pretty darn interesting. That and the fact of the power of such audio to alter the brainwave frequencies. Now that's clearly powerful. You might want to check it out. Jezebel does it for amusement and entertainment, but there are serious scientists working with this as well, and some of them working with her. Robert Monroe and Hemisync uh, for one, and I Awake for another, both of whom create very serious meditation technology. Well, it supports meditation. It's actually audio technology that impacts the brain. If you want to meditate while you listen, that's your choice. Now, while it's doubtful that listening to two of Jandy's tracks had any real effect on this brain, who knows? It could be a factor. Okay, to be continued. Hopefully, those other two intuitions will return. Even if this journal turns out to be one just for me, rare these days, I do like recording the odd things that come through in my life. <laughs> That's what started me journaling in the first place. I remember trying to share this with a guy in the Air Force so long ago, some of the odd experiences and happenings of my life. I hadn't realized it, but there were quite a few, and he suggested they were worthy of noting down somewhere. So that was the start of the oddball report aspect of my journaling. Up to then, they'd just been letters to God when I wanted to talk. Like so many of you guys, I'm guessing. I was an odd child. I didn't fit in well at all. Didn't even try after a while. I couldn't really tell you why, even. I just wasn't interested in the things most kids were. And I was independent, I guess. Plus, Dad being in the Navy, we moved a lot. That didn't help with making friends, although I enjoyed the moving. I thought it was fun. Who needs friends, right? Anyway, I was still a, a pretty deep one inside, even though I had no one to share it with. So when it would spill over and I just had to share with someone, I'd get the notebook out and start at the top with, Dear God, it seemed natural at the time. I was always pretty spiritually focused and reaching out for the stars. Besides, I figured who would be interested in me but God. Now I will also admit that quite a few of those journals growing up had nothing religious or spiritual to them at all and were definitely not addressed, dear God. 
the ones about boyfriends or arguments at school and such. So I had my share of random ramblings. All right, then I ended the journal, and it looks like I came back a couple of days <clears throat> later here at 2.48 a.m., 11.27. Coming back as another one of those ephemeral realizings just came back to me, and I want to record it, I had seen suddenly that words are my specialty, my major tool. Now, this to you may not seem to be anything but obvious, so let me try to share my view. It's just not this life that I saw here. I was seeing more somehow. How much more yet hasn't come clear, but it was a longer term thing than just now, just these journals. So anyway, it was nice to see or to feel that puzzle piece drop into place in the overall picture, which is not yet clear, nor even which ones it connects to. I guess what I'm celebrating here is to see anything long term at all. I've been so cozy in the now for some time, and it's a strange picture indeed to see anything at all more long term. It may be that, as a soul or being, my choice over the long term has been to specialize in sharing, in communication, in serving that way. As I say, if you're in mind, this will just be dull and obvious. To me, it is not that. I don't live that way. This info was alive, was music to my soul. So there's two out of three. Let's see how long it takes for the other shoe to drop on this three-legged being I'm working from here. And I have a footnote with uh, another link. Uh, see the work of Leonard Horowitz on the solfeggio tones. It's a fascinating subject showing us how the Catholic Church even changed the definition of the notes on the musical scale. They altered what the music used to sound like by changing the Hertz definitions of each tone. It turns out this was as nasty a thing as anything else they've done, for the original tones were said to be amazingly healing in the Gregorian chant. Oh well, no pointing fingers though. Remember, we're all one. And no matter who or what, we can all say, I am that. Good day. Sun, since I don't have a star in my little toy chest, but it flickered too much, so I'm trying this effect instead. Remembering brain or DNA changes. Recovering from 11, 11, 11. Oh, and there's a number of links in this thing, so uh, you might enjoy going over to the transcript. I'm beginning to remember or put together things, little things, odd, loose strings in my life. It's being stuck or aching energies into the flow and healing patterns. So uh, my last personal bottle ran out, and I made up a new one today. The very first one where I only used one essence, the last bottle, combined five or six. Anyway, the one flower essence I chose this time, just in case, was water violet, which helps in cases where people may be too independent, preferring their own company, even in times of difficulty and trial. Hey, friends. Well, um, not feeling the very most cheerful here. How about you? But I tell you what, if I waited till I was cheerful to record a video, I might have to wait a while. So I'm not going to do that. This is uh, a journal from 1125. And the Mayan day was too Lamont or star. I wanted to do it as a kind of mental work, just to be clear. The main reason I came to the journal is that these things, being rather etheric, 
feel a bit like the type of remembrance we bring back from a dream, <laughs> the kind that evaporates if we don't keep a, a dream journal or take notes or tell someone. So now let's see if I can pull back the two or three of these that have come in today. As a by the way, I don't think I've mentioned before, but I use the Bach flower remedies and have found them quite useful in moving both subtle and not coming through like intuitions. Heck, who knows? It may be messages from spirit. Actually, as I wrote that, it clicked that it does come that way as messages. Now, whether these messages are from source, my own higher self, spiritual guides or whatever, I don't yet know. Hey, just a moment ago I was calling it intuition, so this is an on-the-fly type of connecting the dots via heart, rather than any 